Welcome, boys and girls, to the story time with the Mayor Joe V. Sanchez Public Library. I'm Jenny Chamberlain, and I teach over at South Texas College, but I think it's so important to learn how to read and spend time reading, because I know it's what's going to help you build your brain and grow more and more intelligent and prepare you for your future. So, today, I'm going to share with you the story of the Paper Bag Princess. This is one of my all-time favorite stories. So here we go. The Paper Bag Princess by Robert N. Munch. Elizabeth was a beautiful princess. She lived in a castle and had expensive, wonderful princess clothes. She was going to marry a prince named Ronald. <sighs> Unfortunately, a dragon smashed her castle, burned all of her clothes with his fiery breath, and carried off Prince Ronald. <sighs> but Elizabeth decided to chase the dragon and get Prince Ronald back. She looked everywhere for something to wear, but the only thing she could find that was not burnt was a paper bag. So she put on the paper bag and followed the dragon. He was easy to follow because he left a trail of burnt forests and horses' bones. Finally, Elizabeth came to a cave with a large door that had a huge knocker on it. She took hold of the knocker and banged on the door with it. The dragon stuck his nose out of the door and said, Well, a princess. I love to eat princesses, but I have already eaten a whole castle today. I'm a very busy dragon. Come back tomorrow. And he slammed the door. Oh, he slammed it so fast, Elizabeth almost got her nose caught. Well, Elizabeth grabbed the knocker and banged on the door again. The dragon stuck his nose out of the door and said, Go away. I love to eat princesses, but I am a very busy dragon, and I have eaten a whole castle. Come back tomorrow. Wait, shouted Elizabeth. Is it true that you are the smartest and fiercest dragon in the whole world? Why? <laughs> yes, it is, said the dragon. Is it true, said Elizabeth, that you can burn up 10 forests with your fiery breath? Whoa, yes, said the dragon. And he took a deep breath and he breathed out so much fire that he burned up 47 forests. Fantastic, said Elizabeth, do it again. And the dragon took another huge breath and breathed out so much fire that he burned up 100 for us. That's magnificent, said Elizabeth. Do it again. And the dragon took another huge breath. But this time, nothing came out. He didn't even have enough fire left to cook a meatball. Elizabeth said, Dragon, is it true that you can fly all around the world in just 10 seconds? Why, yes it is, said the dragon. And he jumped up into the air and flew, flew, flew all the way around the world in just 10 minutes. He was very tired when he got back. But Elizabeth shouted, fantastic, do it again, do it again. So the dragon jumped up into the air and flew, flew, flew all around the whole world in just 23 seconds. When he got back, he was too tired to talk and he just lay down and went to sleep. Elizabeth whispered very softly, Hey, dragon. The dragon didn't move at all. So she climbed up onto his shoulder and lifted up his ear 
and put her head right inside his ear and she shouted as loud as she could. Hey, dragon! The dragon was so tired, he didn't even move. So Elizabeth climbed right over the dragon, opened up the door to the cave and went inside. And there was Prince Ronald. <sighs> he looked at her and he said, Elizabeth, you are a mess. You smell like ashes, your hair is tangled, and you're wearing, is that a dirty bag? Come back when you're dressed like a real princess. Ronald, said Elizabeth, your clothes are very pretty. Your hair is very neat. You look like a prince, but you're a bum. They didn't get married after all. The end. Now, let me tell you why I like this story so much. I think it's so important for all of us to know, girls and boys, that even when bad things happen, we can take charge of our lives and we can overcome those problems and we can be the heroes of our own lives. And if you're like Prince Ronald, who just looks at what people look like and he doesn't see their courage in their heart and how hard they work, he's not very much of a prince, he's kind of a bum. And you don't have to be friends with a bum because you deserve the very best because you are amazing. And we here at Mayor Joe V. Sanchez Library, we love you and we want you to be successful. So I hope you enjoyed your story of the paper bag princess. The end.